everybody, how's it going? This is Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks for being with me today. Today I'm going to do a video based on a question I got from a subscriber video watcher out there in YouTube land, and that is whether or not there is a difference between using a butane torch and a heat gun in the paintings. So I have my colors mixed up here. I'm going to use those Americana premium paints that I picked up the other day. I just put my uh, treadmill silicone in. I did one to two drops in each one. And I did that because I know that I get a lot of cells with that, with this kind of paint, and I really want to notice where those cells come up between the heat gun and the butane torch. I want to see what results we really get. So I want a lot of silicone. I want the possibility for a lot of cells. Now I haven't used a heat gun in a fluid acrylic painting in a very long time. So I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how this is going to come out. We're going to have a lot of paint. These are just flat panel artist loft little canvases here. I got, I think they came, yeah, it looks like five in a pack from Michaels. Very inexpensive, and then you can do little experiments like this. See what's gonna work for you. See what kind of look you're going for. Okay, so here we go with the butane torch. I'm gonna try that one first. see all those cells start to pop up lots of little ones from that treadmill silicone and now this is my heat gun it's a Wagner gun and there is a low and a high setting I'm just gonna do the low and you can see we're getting cells Ooh, I kind of like them too now I don't know if you could see I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can really see but it was kind of pushing the paint a little too because this gives off uh, like an air blowing um, and where the butane torch really doesn't move the paint. That was moving it a little bit. If I would set it on high, it probably would have been moving it a lot more, but it just barely was moving it. And I really like these cells from that heat gun. What do you guys think? Okay, here's a close up of these paintings I just did. Here's the one again with the butane torch. And here is the one with the heat gun. I'm kind of surprised. I think I'm going to do a painting now after this one not an experiment, an actual painting, and I'm gonna try using that heat gun instead of the butane torch. Interesting. Okay, let's try this experiment one more time because I just wanna uh, make sure that that wasn't a fluke because in between that experiment and this one right here, I did a painting using the heat gun and it didn't come out the way the experiment came out. So. Now I wanna test this out again and just make sure that wasn't a fluke with the first time we tried this, cause that came out beautifully. Let's use the treadmill silicone pouring medium, which I'll put the link to that video in the description. I am using the same canvases. I just scraped that paint off before. I didn't gesso it or anything, just um, scraped the paint off while it was still wet. I'm going to try my butane torch first. Okay, see all the cells there? And now with my heat gun, I'm going to put it on the low setting. It's either low or high. Very interesting. So I guess what I will have to say with this, the verdict of this experiment, is that it again just kind of depends on the look that you're going for. So the heat definitely from this heat gun 
kind of activated that silicone a little bit and it moved the paint just a teeny bit. Let me try high heat. And that definitely moved the paint more. I don't want to scorch the paint. Still getting some nice movement, um, but I think it's just still the butane torch if you want to get a lot of cells. Mm -hmm.